Welcome to our island in Second Life called Transforming Assessment. In our Second Life island we've been looking at some examples of assessment tasks that we can set students using the features within Second Life. We've constructed or resed a series of buildings here which are based on different disciplines. In this case we're in front of the chemistry building. So let's head into the chemistry building and see what resources are available for us. We're particularly interested in tools that will help us to set assessment tasks for students within the Second Life environment. So the tool we're going to have a look at today is the quiz chair from the Sloodle set. Yeah, Sloodle is Second Life in Moodle. So as we head over to the quiz chair we can see that there are some instructions for us on the wall. So as you go around our island uh, make sure you have a look at the instructions uh, that we've left at different places. These will help you uh, to be able to use the tools that we have available. So the Sloodle quiz chair is a place where students can do selected response quizzes that are linked to items inside a Moodle course. So the questions are just constructed in the normal way that one would using the Moodle quiz tool. The question types that are available for the quiz chair are multiple choice, true, false, yes, no and numeric responses. You can put any number of quiz chairs around the island but each quiz chair needs to be associated with a different instance of a course within Moodle. So the idea of the quiz chair is show how you can use in-world activities and out-of-world activities. So if you do a left click on the chair then a page will appear and this is an extra feature that we've added in. It's not part of the normal Sudal set. Uh, we've put in an extra feature where it links to an external web page. So the student would click on that link and in their normal web browser a web page would open which would give them access to additional tools that they can use uh, that, that would be helpful for them for this particular assessment. So to start the quiz the student uh, would right click on the chair and pick to sit here and as they sit the quiz will commence. So as your avatar sits on the chair the questions commence and you'll see that we have some simple multiple choice questions here that exist inside our Moodle quiz tool. So the way we've set this question up is that the question is actually linked to that external web page that the student would have opened which will give them access to a tool that they can use in this case a Java applet. So the student would use that Java applet to help them to be able to answer this question. So this is moving away from just straight memory and actually getting students to think about responses by interacting with an object. In this particular case the student has access to emission and absorption spectra of the elements on the periodic table. So what we're showing here is how one can link in-world activities with out-of-world activities and the fact that all your resources don't have to exist inside Second Life. They can actually sit outside Second Life with students accessing those resources during their in-world activities. So this overcomes some of the limitations of Second Life where it's quite complex to be able to construct or res uh, objects within Second Life. We can use objects that are on a web page for students to be able to access during a quiz. So the student clicks on the res the particular uh, response that they think is correct and then they get some feedback. The second question then appears and in this case it's also referring to the external website where the students would use a particular Java applet to look at three, three dimensional structures. So we click on the next response and then we get our feedback for that particular question. So the third question that's come up you'll notice is not on the right hand side but on the left hand side. In this case it's not a multiple choice question it's actually a numeric question. So the student would then use the external website to be able to do a calculation and then they would enter their calculation in the chat or text field within Second Life and the response would be marked accordingly. So let's type in a response into the chat field and we'll see the feedback come up for that. And once again question 4 which has come up is a numeric question uh, so the student would then be using the external website again to do a calculation. They would then enter their response into the text field and then receive feedback. So let's just enter a value into the chat field and once again we'll get feedback from the um, system. So we've seen an example here of using the quiz chair within Second Life, linking it to an external website where the students can do uh, further work, further calculations, interact with something and then be able to get feedback within Second Life. 